Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Crackpot by Adil Weissman. Come, let's go to the summary. The story of Crackpot uh, happens uh, actually begins before the First World War and it even continues after the Second World War. And in this story, we find out how people are really suffering, particularly women, how hard they have to work to get some income for their family and how well they are treated in the society. That is also dealt with in a very beautiful way and it shows that to what level they are degraded in the society and how well they have to suffer in the society. And uh, the main characters of uh, the story are Hoda. She is the main character and actually her nickname only is Crackpot and that is the title of the story. And then we have Rahel. Rahel is uh, Hoda's mother and she is a person with a hump at the back. And Daniel is Hoda's father. He is blind. And David Ben Zion is uh, Hoda's son. And his nickname is Pipic. Uh, why his uh, nickname is Pipic? We will see as we are reading the story. And we have Uncle Nate uh, who is a very rich man in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is a place in Canada. And uh, he only brings uh, Hoda, Rahel and Daniel from Russia to Winnipeg. And another important character is a butcher. He is a local butcher. And he is a person who form who becomes a turning point in Hoda's life. What he does to Hoda, we will see when we are reading the story. Now, Hoda is born to Jewish parents and actually they are in Russia. And um, what happened is, at that time in Russia, there was a plague. And uh, that was killing people. And among the people, there was a belief that if two disabled people were married, and that also if they were married in a Jewish cemetery, the plague will stop. So, Hoda's mother, Rahel, who had a slight hump, and her father, Daniel, who was blind, they were chosen by the villagers. And the villagers told that they will support them financially, and they asked them to get married, and they got them married in the cemetery, in a Jewish cemetery. And as they believed, the plague stopped, but Daniel's own mother died of plague. And initially, the villagers were supporting them, but soon they stopped supporting them. At that time, what happened is Daniel's uncle, he asked them to come to Winnipeg where he was there and he was, uh, of course, very rich. He said, you come here, I'll take care of you. But this uncle did not know that Daniel was blind. And so after they came to Winnipeg, he was not willing to support them. And Rahel realized that and Rahel is a very, very hard working person. And uh, they had come there and that time Hoda was only a small baby. So Rahel started uh, earning money by cleaning houses uh, and what will happen is uh, they also move to a small place which is like a shack. And uh, Rahel will go to uh, each uh, place and she will clean the house. And since Hoda was a small baby, she will carry Hoda along with her. And when she is working, in order to keep Hoda quiet, she was always feeding her. And this made Hoda a very, very fat infant. And actually she was so fat that other children used to make fun of her. And... Uh, the most unfortunate thing is, when Hoda was still young itself, Rahel died of cancer. And she was the only person who was earning income in the family. Now what happened is, uh, Daniel's uncle knew that they had come to that place only because of him. And uh, so he had the responsibility of taking care of him. But he did not want to keep them there itself. So what happened is, he donated a large sum of money to the Jewish orphanage and to an old folks home. And he wanted Hoda to go to the orphanage and Daniel to go to the senior's home. But Hoda and Daniel refused to be separated. And this made the uncle angry and he washed his hands of them. And Daniel, who knew how to weave baskets, started weaving baskets. And he thought that will uh, really bring some income to the family. But that was not sufficient. So what happened is, Hoda started cleaning the houses like her mother to earn some money. And what happened is, as she was uh, doing all this work, they were actually suffering a lot for money. This a local butcher noticed and somehow he spoke to young Hoda who was very innocent and he made her to give him physical pleasure by touching his private parts in his shop. And how this will happen is, Hoda will be sitting behind the counter down and uh, as people come and they buy the meat and go, they will not know what is happening behind the counter. And Oda has to do this, uh, what you can say, the most uh, degrading thing. And uh, after, the, after he gets enough pleasure, he will give her some money and meat and this way she was getting money. 
and Hoda being very innocent she thought that this is another way of getting income for the family so she started having sex with many men for payment in fact her house was a small shelter where they had a room and she used to ask even her classmates who were uh, boys uh, to come to her house and they used to come home and she used to have physical relationship with them and she used to get money and her father daniel will be at home and in the story it's not mentioned whether he knew what was happening and yet he kept quiet acting blind for the sake of money or whether he was really blind and did not know what was happening and whether he thought that uh, hoda's friends were coming home only to have a chat with her that is not uh, said clearly in the story but anyway we find that daniel is totally uh, not saying anything about what is happening with uh, hoda and hoda is so innocent that she thinks that only when a uh, man and a women become husband and wife they'll get children and so she will not be uh, that she will not become pregnant by having relationship with many men and uh, she keeps on going like this but one day she realizes that she is pregnant and uh, this why she is not aware for many days is she is very very fat and why others also don't suspect is because she is very fat it is not seen out it is not very clear that she is pregnant her features are such and one night she gets labor pains and she delivers a baby boy this even a father does not know because she does not even uh, cry out in pain then after the baby boy is delivered she herself cuts the umbilical cord and ties it and uh, she thinks what to do because the baby is alive so she decides to leave him in one of the jewish orphanage to which her uncle had actually donated a lot of money and when she's leaving the boy she writes a note saying take good care a prince in disguise can make a piece of prince to save the jews he is paid for and this is a note she leaves there and why she writes that is only about 9 to 10 months back the prince of wales had come to winnipeg and so she thinks that this note will make them believe that this is one of the child who was born of uh, prince of wales and what happens is she comes back and afterwards she just uh, does not take any initiative to go and see what is happening to the boy or uh, how he is coming up and in the same way here uh, her son is also david was also brought up in a very nice way and actually he gets a nickname pipic why means the umbilical cord which is cut by uh, hoda is not cut in a professional manner she just does it uh, with inexperiencedly and so it is actually sticking out and the, therefore everyone uh, nicknames him as pipic and he also grows and everyone shows so uh, much love and care in the orphanage and he grows there and uh, he comes and here hoda continues her life in the same way there is no change in her lifestyle she continues her, uh, her life in the same way and 15 years passes like this and after 15 years what happens is her son itself meets hoda and this time he meets her because he has come there for his sexual pleasure and looking at him hoda realizes who he is and actually we can understand what sort of a conflict she will face at that time and uh, that is a time when she realizes that she has to give the love and support that she has denied him for all these years throughout his life and the story ends here it's a very beautiful uh, story and this we will find out how beautifully wise man has said about the difficulty faced by women in the society and how hard they have to work to earn they income to live in the society and he also shows the many different faces of the people like the own jew people itself they make fun of uh, hoda they do not support them financially and in fact since she is a very fat girl how she is been made fun by her own classmates and called as crackpot and because her parents will tell her very very good stories all when she is a young and uh, that story she will go and tell to her friends uh, even for that they will make fun of her all these are said in a very nice narrative manner it's a beautiful story please read the original story to enjoy it and if you have anything more to add on this to this what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you're not subscribe my channel please subscribe only then you will get the notification of all my videos when i post them thank you